Well, good morning everyone. I was going to do my intro um, on the water today, but um, I've decided to do it here because I just, I'm just i a bit in awe at what I've been given today already. Um, I've come down to the Medway. Um, if you know where it is, you might, you'll be able to tell, but I'm not going to tell you where it is, um, just so I can keep the location sort of a bit quiet, um, which isn't what I normally do, but I, I've got to respect it on this occasion. Um, we're going off to Pike today, uh, possibly some perch, some char brooch, whatever, uh, but mainly pike, that's what we're after. And um, we've come to a lock, and we've paid our money, we've registered our boat, and we've got toilets, we've got showers, and we've got this stunning setting, look at this. So, we've got a nice slipway there, we're going to go and launch the uh, kayak very shortly. It's all set up, um, we've got four rods with us, obviously we only use two, two or three at a time. Uh, we've got a float on that one, two lure rods, and then we've got a whip to catch some live bait. I'm on my own today. No one wanted to come out, or no one could come out, but um, I'm buzzing. I'm gonna get my dry suit on, put the radio on, and uh, let's go and give it a go. Right, welcome along. Right, so we've just launched um, on the, the Medway now. Um, we're just going to set up some lures. Uh, I set all the rods up yesterday. Typically, the lures I wanted to use are still in the post and they're arriving at the house today, which is, of course, what is going to happen. Um, we're going to try this colour here. I think that dives to about six foot. I couldn't be sure, but I think that's about, about right. I think it's about ten foot now, so it should be perfect depth to dive in. Ooh, it looks good. We've got Dexter wedges, we've got loads, we've got spinners, loads of different lures today to try. So, uh, whatever the pike are hungry for, um, hopefully we'll figure it out and um, we'll go and catch some. So, you're on for the journey, as always. Thank you for joining us. Um, and hopefully I'll catch some fish today. All right, stunning day and um, let's get out there. Right, so we've got our two lure rods out now. Um, we're just trolling, it's currently 14 foot of water in the middle. And um, we're just gonna go at a sort of steady two miles an hour and just see what we can pick up. There's four miles until we reach the next lock, so we've got four miles of river we can go at. Um, I'm just hoping this, there is some massive pike in here. Um, and I'm just hoping we're gonna pick one up today. Just, just one big one would be amazing. Um, but if we can get, you know, a few jacks just to keep the action going throughout the day, that, that would be perfect. So nice to be out on a river. I tell you, it's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. Oh, I'm happy today. Really happy. Um, if you're big followers of the pages, or you're not, and you enjoy the videos, um, I would suggest going onto Facebook and following my new um, fishing page. I'll put the link um, in now. Um, and also, if you could go and follow the Instagram as well, um, I'm going to put some pictures on there of my trips and do the write-ups on there as well as do the videos. So if you want to follow those, that would be amazing. Right, I'm going to go be quiet because it's a lovely morning and um, I'm just going to try and pick up the pike. Clear it for the, uh, the yards. A weekend probably isn't best to come and troll lures on a very busy stretch of the Medway. Right, first fish of the day. Not what we're after, but a perch on the lure. It was a little bite and I thought, oh damn it, it's gone off. And I just thought, let me wind it in. And um, yeah, 
little perch. There you go. So we haven't blanked, so that's good. And also that means that lure's working. So let's get him back. Thank you, mister. Come on, Mr. Pike, we need a pike. <laughs> We're in, We've got a pike. Um, I was seeing some um, fry jumping out and um, we're in. Might just be able to get him on board, hopefully. Oh, he's not that well looked. Yes! Hee <laughs> hee! Pike, get in. It's not dropping this time. Just casting a MEP spinner. Little Pike, yes. We'll get him measured and um, saw him out, but yeah, I've just seen a load of fry jumping up and just casting the map spin out. I know they do the business, and uh, bam. Mission accomplished. That's what we come here for. And um, we'll get it measured up and we'll, um, we'll carry on putting some spinners out there. Right, so we just caught that um, small jack pike. So pictured, measured, slam, we've got some points. So really, all we've got to get now um, is a pollock. I'm not going to get that in the River Medway, but um, we'll have to try that, I think, next week. But there we go, two little targets achieved, mostly the pike, so yeah, good stuff. Well, I don't know if you can hear that, and you can probably also see it. Very wet and very windy. In again. Might be a bit of a bigger fish, it's another pike. Just loosen the gear. Woo! Just on that MEP spinner in good looking areas. Oh, he's a bit bigger. A bit bigger, will he come on board? That's the question. Probably should net him. Yes, there we go. Pike number two. And a bit bigger. There we go. Pike number two. We'll get that one measured and put back. Fantastic, just little jacks at the moment, but that's fantastic. Excellent. Woohoo! <laughs> Great fun. <laughs> in again, boys, in again. Getting a hang of this now. A bit of a bigger one, maybe. Have a look. Oh, yes, look at that. Much better. Much better fit. Go. There we go boys, much better, much bigger fish. I'm trying to get the net out now, because I haven't actually prepared it. Oh. I don't think it's going to be very happy when it sees the nets. Yeah, there it goes. Yes! <laughs> get in! It's pouring down with rain, we're on our own in the medway. We've had three pike, and that looks like 100 centimetre fish. Get in. Mep spinner, doing the business. Right, I'm gonna get him up for a photo. Uh, right, I'm just doing this for the camera. Um, this pike is a bit tricky to measure in the kayak, so the bank is here. Um, I'm just gonna walk up to the bank, measure it, so he's safe, and then I'm gonna put him back. But here's, here's the pike. I've, um, I've vaguely measured him, he's, a, he's around about 60. So um, I've got my measuring stick here. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna try and take him up the bank so I can quickly me um, measure him properly, if that's okay. Right, we measured her up and uh, 65, so that's fantastic. And uh, I'm just going to show you and then quickly get it back. It's been in and out of the water a few times to, to revive. There you go. Beautiful Medway pike. pike. Let's get it back. Nice strong swim. Happy days. Excellent. So we've had three pike today. It's, it's half one, so we've got lots of the day left. Um, all on the MEP spinner. Just areas where I've gone, oh, that looks quite pikey. But that one, it literally, as soon as that spinner hit, bam, it was on. I'm really, I'm chuffed with that. Um, we're still tied off to this funny bit of down here. 
good job it was there because I needed to tie the kayak up and I've got a really good measure measure picture and video so hopefully that will get accepted. Um, we're going to just untie myself from this little made up sort of uh, mooring point here and I'm going to go and try and get a bigger one. I'm, I'm really happy with that. As I said, I've, it was probably about, I don't know, four and a half, five pound maybe. I don't know, it might have been smaller, I don't know, I'm not very good with pike measurements, because I never measure my pike, I just do them in, I don't measure them, I want to measure them, I don't weigh them. Um, right, we're all good, I think, we've gone for a pee, and um, we're ready to go catch some more pike. Well, let's go. Oh, we had a knock, come on, try again. See if he wants it again. <laughs> I was literally just watching the lure, and I saw a little jack pike snap at it. That's two little connections I've lost now, but great fun. There's a lot of movement in the water now. Um, well, there was a lot of movement in the water, but here, a bit further up, seems to be a little bit better. But park area, it's just seeing if we can pick out a bigger one. Maybe a bigger lure would work, but I don't know. I'm gonna keep keep trying, keep trying the margins and try these MEP spinners. Um, there's no reason why a bigger one wouldn't take it. Good fun this. Pissing down with rain, but um yeah. It's good. We're in, just do a little perch this time. We haven't had any bites for about half an hour, but we've come a bit further up and there we go. A little medway perch. There we go. See you later. So lure business the what's doing the business today. Number five maps with a little yellow. One treble, simple. Right, let's carry on do some casting and uh, hit the end of the um, other lock and see what we can get up there. Right, we're coming up to the end of the stretch now and there's a weir, which is always good for pipe. Just over there, you might see the white water coming off of it. Now, yeah, weirs are good places for pipe. They, they hang around the edge, they're never in the main flow. Uh, that's just not conserving energy, but yeah, they're always around the weir. Um, I think what they tend to do is, is watch the sort of fish, the little fish, get caught up in the weir, getting thrown out on the side, and then they attack them. I'm pretty sure that's why they're there, but um, I'm gonna go have a little, little turn around, a couple of casts with these MEP spinner, and then we're gonna head back to base, uh, which is four miles down that way. Oh, yeah. But we've done the whole stretch today, so that's nice. We've done about 12 miles in total, I think, um, by, the, by the end of the day. So I'm on the return now, and I'm, I'm heading back up to where I was, but I'm gonna spin around in literally 20 foot. I was, um, I was, I was trolling the uh, MEP spinner, just so I could see it, and it hurts, so just smashed it. Um, didn't quite, a small perch, um, quite a big treble, so it didn't, didn't go in, but what awesome fun. Um, I'm just going to go and try and see if I can, uh, see if there's a bigger one down there, or if it's the same one, if he wants to have another go at it. That was good fun, that. Just nip the back like that. Come out of nowhere. Great fun. <laughs> As expected. Oh, it's a pike. Another pike. Oh, wild one, wild one. So not only was a perch there, but a pike was there. There he is. Another pike. Now just gotta try and get this unhooked. He's a very, very lively one, that's for sure. On those forceps. There he is, another little medway pipe. No need to measure him because obviously the other one was a lot bigger. But we can clip him back. Look at that. Let's just let him recover. Look how camouflaged they are. Incredible creatures. Bye. See, the great thing is now we're, um, the boat is now going in the flow direction of where we're casting. That so just means that we're not, we're not against the tide, um, tide, the flow at all. 
which is nice. So we're just gonna we're just gonna drift along nicely and and um, and try lots of spots on the opposite sides to what we've come up as. So we came up on that side, and now we're gonna fish this side. And we're gonna just keep casting, and um, we're just gonna drift with the flow. Perfect. Guys, right, so about half a mile away now from um, where we launched. Um, I'm going to call it, I think, um, very wet today. I'm not wet underneath, I'm just a bit cold on the face and cold on the head. I've got a bit of migraine as well. I thought I put my drink in the back of my crate and an hour after I launched, I realised I hadn't and I hadn't gone back. I should have gone back and then got back out again, but I didn't, hence the migraine. But we've had, I think, four pike, maybe five pike, I can't remember. Um, and, and a couple of perch. So it's been um, it's been a good fun day today. Really enjoyed it. There's definitely lots of big ones to be had in here. I'll definitely be coming back. Uh, this time with the two lures that are at home being delivered. I just had a notification from Royal Mail. They've been delivered, um, apparently. So um, yeah, we're gonna come there, come here with the new lures and try for a bigger, bigger pie. But. Thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, as I said earlier, if you've got this far, then uh, you might enjoy, be enjoying the content. So head over to the Facebook page of myself, Jake Davidson Fishing, and uh, it's Jake Davidson Fishing on Instagram as well. We've just opened those two pages up. So have a lovely week, and once again, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Cheers.